uh, in early 2020, I believed the natural uh, hypothesis because that's what the scientists were saying. And I didn't have any reason to question that. And I didn't know about the research that was going on. And then I was asked to chair the Lancet Commission. And I thought, well, who's the guy that knows about zoonotic spillovers? Who knows about what's going on with the viruses? So I asked Dasha. No one, no one put him forward. There was no ulterior thing there. It was just my naivete uh, in uh, that first six months. So I asked him to organize this thing. Then I learned he's not telling me the truth on many things. And it was my own eyes opening up and being briefed by a number of scientists and being guided. Jeff, look at this, understand this. This is how this works. This is the research that was underway. You know, I had a two year crash course in virology uh, that uh, was uh, quite wonderful with a lot of very generous scientists helping me to understand this. But what I did know, and I know a lot about government because I've worked with a lot of governments over the last 40 years, I knew that there was lying going on. And the more I looked into it, the more the lies. And so that's after at one point I said to Dasha, uh, show me your project documents. He said, I can't. I said, what do you mean you can't? You're, you're on a commission that's a transparent commission to get to the bottom of this. You show them to me. I can't. My lawyers say I can't. Oh, your lawyers say you can't. Well, you can't be on the commission anymore. OK, so that was the first step. Then the rest of the scientists all attacked me. Uh, you know, you're uh, attacking science and so forth. Then the next Freedom of Information Act lawsuit dropped the next 